This series is my attempt at a modern approach to iconography. The iconographers of old used to create images, but when they did, they were to say, this is obviously not God, this is obviously not Christ, but they point to the prototype who is, so that by our earthly eyes, we set our heavenly souls on what is above. So in this piece, I wanted to capture the three godheads of the Trinity. And I have done so in the form of the lion, as God calls himself the Lion of Judah, from the Old Testament all the way up into Revelation. And in the Old Testament, God the Father calls himself a consuming fire, a jealous God. And so you see the first lion with a mane of fire. But as you look at him, he is at a full profile because he was not able to have a direct relationship with his people who are cloaked in sin. And so he is set against a black background. And so he sent his son not to take on a crown of jewels, but a crown of thorns. As Jesus was on the cross and the veil was torn, so the profile was broken. But even Jesus said, I must go so that another may come. And he spoke of the Holy Spirit as the living water. And so you see the third line with this mane of water suspended in space. And across the three, you see a single motion of the lion turning his face towards the viewer. As it says in Numbers, may the Lord turn his face towards you and bring you peace. So across this series and through the expression of the Trinity, you see a God who is fiercely pursuing a relationship with his people, longing to bring them peace.